Bay Doggy. Salt and pepper. Good morning and welcome to Fishing Squad. Well, we're at Chester. It's about five o'clock just gone. And we're on our way to North Wales to do some fishing again. We're off our head. Yeah. <laughs> no. So we're. Uh, I don't want to make any predictions, obviously. We're, we're just after anything that bites. We're going to be fishing big. Like we have done in other videos. Uh, we're going to head on to Rockmark to start with, Rockmark to start with, and then uh, hit Pifelli Beach for later on. So, we'll see what happens. There's a nip in there, isn't there, at the minute? Which, yes, yeah. like I say, usually by the time you get down the coast, it's all long a bit warm, but we're going to get northerly winds today, so... I think this chilling air might be with us for most of the day, if not all the day. Uh, it should warm up a bit, maybe in the morning or over midday, but we'll see. Weird to catch fish when we're cold. Yeah, exactly. So, hopefully we'll see you at the mark. So, at the mark, I mean... I'm not kidding you not guys, this looks like a summer's day today, it feels like summer as well, it's it? absolutely just like it always is around here, beautiful, that's the only way I can describe it, sounds a bit soft that doesn't it, but uh, I'm not lying though, I'm not it? lying, <laughs> totally took our breaths away walking down, both the scramble down and the scenery, I've got Jay and Jamie with me today, we're about top at tide, so we're not going to, we're just going to basically have a go for some mackerel till it ebbs off a bit, and then uh, I've dropped some rigs down outside for some small stuff and then we'll go all out for tow we've got a bucket of drum wheels we'll go through a few bits in a bit to start with we're going to have a few cast with feathers and then see how we get on all spinning away J J jamie's got a, a little like micro jig thing on i've got one of these sand deals on jay's got a set of feathers on we've seen some lawns in water below us so i'm just trying to match up see if we can get some pollock out or bass or whatever um Jay's to see if we can get some mackerel, like we said. Um, we might, might switch swap methods. We've got plenty of time before we put the bottom rods out, so we're just having to play about, basically. Fished to Jay on the Hawkeye Lures. Nice little pollock. First pollock for two years. First pollock for two years, yeah. It means something to you, doesn't it, that? So, nice one, mate. Took to pollock. Sold it up, Jay. Let's just show people the lure. It's got a little jig on. I don't know if you can see that very clearly, but that's all he's caught that on. Nice little pollock. That'll be going back. To fight another day. We're busy uh, tackling the tote rods up, and Jamie's just hooked a pollock on lug. It's a nice one as well. Potentially, might be. It's about the same size as the one you had the other day, isn't it? Yeah. Nice, nice, nice pollock though, mate. Well done. Very well done. There's a lot of lawn in front of us in the water. They're not, you know, they're about eight to ten inches long, but we can't hook any on feathers for some reason. Quite a few yeah, Jay's just got a single sand deal on at the moment. I've had a few cassock feathers myself, it's oak rigs and uh, he's had a nice, nice ras, ballon ras. I'll just hold him up and then we'll deal with looking and putting him back in a minute. Nice one Jamie, lovely fish that one. Yeah by the way guys, it's the 21st of November, it is not June or July. The weather is absolutely glorious. I've got my woolly hat on, I don't know why, because I'm absolutely scorched. Um, Jamie's done right well so far, he's had a few fish out, he's had, he's had a couple more pollock than what you saw on camera He had a couple more small ones and he's had that one that were a reasonable one and He's had a nice chunky wrasse, ballon wrasse Jay's had a pollock, I've had nothing <laughs> We've had uh, a lot of lawns swimming around in front of us like I said We're just enjoying the day so far so let's see what happens I've tackled all the rods up for tote fishing, I'll just spin you around Just show you basic rig what we're doing, we do it all the time but for people that don't follow the channel for the benefit of them, we'll show you. Rig guys, I've got a grip lead on. I don't think it makes much difference whether you use a grip lead or whatever. I'll show you what the other, we were using on the other rods. Got a Gemini Special Blast Down Solo. Um, rotten bottom, weak link, a 20 pound line. 3 0 swivel. Holding the weight, and then on the other end of the pulley rig, you've got this happens to be 250 pound mono. Use anything from 170 pound upwards. We've got a bead. I'm just, the rig's like above me. Just give me a sec. I'll pull it down. You've got the swivel weights attached there, then down here, you've got an, I don't know if you can see, you've got another bead there, 30, 300 pound swivel, then you've got 135 pound wire, 
I've got a Kyoki circle because the back hook, and then a, a Tamers in over Tamers, a tail was the bottom hook. Um, see how, how that works. I haven't been a fan of using these Kyoki circles, so I'm, I just like using J hooks to be fair. So I'll show you what other weight the other guys are using as well. I just happen to have the last that last grip that I had in the box. I'm using just slice some jigs up. We're using them, they're about seven or eight ounce of them. The same setup. So see how, we, how we get on. Like I say, it's glorious weather. I'm gonna have a few more casts for mackerel. We've got plenty of frozen bait anyway. So and we've got some chum that I keep just flicking a bit out of that bucket if you follow the channel um, into the tide. And hopefully it'll bring some fish around. We'll go throw a bit more in actually. Chum. It's about two and a half litres worth. I've already put some in, we haven't really got a scoop so I'm having to use a lid. But it absolutely stinks. I put some fish oil and some sand in it. Um, like I said, I'm going to do if you follow the channel. So we're going to just keep putting a bit in. Then by the time we get our baits out, hopefully we'll have some scenting water and bring some fish into our swim if you like. So we'll see what happens, like I say. You know, this tote fishing, it can be full on. It's either full on or nothing normally. So we'll see. I think we've got a better tide for it today. So like I say, Fingers crossed, hopefully something will show. Corkwing wrasse on mackerel. It's his first one. Obviously they don't grow very big anyway, so it's a nice first one. That on lovely colours on it, on its face. So he's gonna get it put back and see if we can get some more. Let's have a go for some mackerel. I've got feathers on. Um, it's 21st of November, like I say. I'm hoping if the water's a bit clearer than it has been recently. That, I can get my own personal best for getting them late in the year. The latest time I've had them off here, November the 5th. Now we've seen some launch in the water, like I say. We've chased everything down that we've been reeling in the water. So just don't seem big enough to take one of our hooks. So I'm hoping there's going to be some mackerel about as well. We'll see. tell by the weather it's very obscure for November to be this warm so we're quite happy about that the wind's now self sheltered against the wind direction well, since I've been in the jumper down here isn't it? yeah Jay's in his low. jumper fishing for us it's like summer <laughs> So I ain't caught out yet. <laughs> I'm getting rinsed on tiddlers, I'll just save for a big toe. Big fat toe. So we'll see how it goes anyway, like I say, you know. It'd be nice to get a couple of fresh baits, but we've got plenty of rows. It's just nice to have fresh, isn't it? You know, it can be greedy, can't it sometimes I think. So we'll see what happens as it goes on. It's been a good start to the session though so far, so fingers crossed. Then another pollock. They're really hungry, these pollock, for some people. <laughs> I think I should go out, we haven't caught anything yet. I've got a rod out up there with uh, a little rig on, with a small strip of mackerel, see if I can get one. Nice one, Jamie, it's a nice fish, that one, mate. Yes. It's a bigger one this time. Sold it up and then I'll uh, we'll deal with knocking him in a minute. It's a nice one, Jamie, that, isn't it? On mackerel. Shows you can get them on mackerel. Lovely ballon wrasse. Jay's just caught a short spined sea scorpion. Um, get it on up, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it for you, son, don't worry. So there you go, guys. Look at that thing. Look at that. Nice little short spined sea scorpion. Not venomous, but they do look very feisty indeed. But we'll get him put back. Let's bait up going out. Just gonna cast it out and see what well hopefully we'll fish all right current still picky towing a bit to the left but we'll see how we get on i think jay's either got a hustle or a conger on here hey it's jerky judder isn't it oh he's got a bullos right i'll go down and land it for him try not to drop my camera into it um it's a good start isn't it no, it's not it's come off. oh it's come off bait's too big sometimes you know what i mean yeah. i saw it on camera all right so i've had a uh, I've just lost another husk, but I've also, literally, let's wait, I'm going to get out son. I've just lost a toe. <laughs> it's a bit through 135 pound wire. 
I mean, how does that happen? I don't get any footage of it because I'm more interested in getting it in. But I don't know if you can see that. That's what happens. It's frayed on end. Just put another bait out, a new rig. Let's get on with it, innit? So we get another one early on in tide. Put a lot of chum out and it seems to work so far. We've lost two hosts. I lost one after Jay, then I just had a tote run, I lost the tote, so such is life, let's get on with it, see if we can get another one. 21st is it today? 21st of November, and that is a mackerel on the float, it's just caught a mackerel on the float. Nice one Jamie. Lynn and uh, Jamie's got a conga, a baby one. So we're going to uh, get it unhooked, get it put back, it's proper munched the... Uh, Hooks by the looks of it, we'll, we'll sort it out and get it put back. Find the caught a fish, I've got a doggy. Oh, look his camera. <laughs> yeah, we'll get him put back. He's got a three bearded rockling now on a tote bait. Just uh, come down to the side a bit. Three bearded. Nice markings on it. It's nailed, totally nailed that mackerel. Sold him up a bit, Jamie. That's a lovely fish. Look at the markings on that, guys. Absolutely stunning colours. Nice one, Jamie. Quite bizarre looking fish. Pollock. It's on about 14 fish. <laughs> so, sun's going down now. We'll just uh, put some fresh baits out. And uh, oh, I'm still very deflated from earlier on. At least I've had a dogfish. I'm not blanking. Well, mixed up. Yeah, what have you had? You had a. Who said a pollock? No, I've had a pollock. Oh, a rass. Rass and that scorpion thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. About, We've caught nothing, basically. <laughs> Still been worth coming here just for that tote run, hasn't it? At least we want money. We we're going to get some footage of it, like, but obviously, you've seen how many I've lost lately. Emphasis needs to be on getting them in. You know, I've got no reason to lie to anyone. Obviously, some people sometimes mix stuff up, but... I'm going to lie, but it's another bit. Yeah. I'm more devastated than... Oh, oh. Well, I've got to... See what's happening with that. Let's see if this is a run. Put a nice, juicy herring head on this. We've got out inside. It's too jerky, isn't it? like a dogfish. Do you want to just take the camera a minute? Just stand where I am, Jay, because obviously yeah, yeah. we've got someone fishing to the left of us. It's really jerky that bike, isn't it? Mmm. Jamie's at it again. Really rough. Let's see if there's something on this. Just feel stuck. It's not been out long though. So you've literally just rebated that, haven't you? Yeah. Put it back up, Rodress, because if it's a conga or something like that, it might come free. Well, it's not video off for now, and if something materialises, it does. Uh, so just the last knock-ins at daylight, it's, it's darker than it looks on camera. Uh, that bite on that rod that we, um, we saw didn't materialise into anything. Just another jerky bite, just put fresh baits on again. I'm just waiting for something to show, aren't we? Um, it's a good, brilliant session for Jamie. It's not been a bad one for Jay in terms of species and stuff. Um, it's been a bit of a painful, another painful tope session for me. Yeah. But it's part of it, isn't it? It's fishing, there's not very much else you can do about it. But things can quickly change around, can't they? You know, Felly Beach might um, produce for us. So I don't think it'll produce any tope at this time of year, but it might produce a conga or a huss or a ray or something, you know. We'll see. I'm going to keep at it. I'll be fishing an hour into darkness and then head back up and hit Patheli. So if nothing else happens, we'll be on Patheli Beach in the next section of this video, I'd imagine.
Came is into a, yet another fish. Nice pollock. I mean, it's nice to know how many pollock there is off here. There's still plenty, which is good. So, well done, Jamie. I think you must be on 20 fish or something. Just hold it up because you can hold it up. It's got good lighting with this one. Nice one, mate. Well done. It's off a little bit with a lobster, but it's a nice one as well. Nice lobster. I'm going to put him back. The belly. Baits have just gone out. I've got a running ledger rig on the right on the left, and a tool flat rig on the right on the right. Um, six hours showing us a panel rig on the run on the left, simple running ledger rig on the right, torque flapper rig, size one oaks, I think we're sardine on the back on the running ledger rig. So it goes, tide's coming in, we've got a couple of hours to high tide. Got Jamie and Vic down the beach there, and Jay just the side of me here. So there's a real dip in there. Now that north north wind's still blowing up all day, you know, it's put like, I think most of the country's getting a bit of a cold, cold air front coming across, so we'll see how we go. We're going to get, get um, have a small session here, see how we go. So I catch loads of fish, we'll stick it out. If we don't catch much, we're probably knocking it on head about an hour after high tide, so yeah, I'm looking forward to this now. It's nice and comfortable fishing, see how we get on. Only about an hour, uh, baits on flapper have been tampered with a bit, but... We haven't caught anything yet. Seems very quiet. We've got eight rods out, two each, four of us fishing. None of us have had a fish yet. So, not very optimistic. I'm going to rebate the big bait and see if, can, see if something happens. That's the rod on the left here. We're running ledger again. We put fresh bait on that, recast it. See if happens. The night dogfish, get it on up, get it put back so we can get another one. I think I'm gonna get him put back. He's gone. Not too far for full moon. I don't know if you can see the beach, it's like quite. Oh, you won't... sweet, there. you won't see the beach because I had my hand up at lens. That's what we're dealing with. We've got full moon. I'm just about make out the rub tips, I think. Like kind of, we've been getting a couple of jerky bites on the flapper rig. It's nearest rod to us after that whiting I've just caught. I just had another whiting bite a minute ago, um, connected at nothing. Uh, I've got a big piece of herring on the rod on the on the left. You what? Yeah, got a big piece of herring on the one on the left. I'm hoping that um, something after he's like us will turn up. Is that? I just Yeah, Jane just needs to get off Mark. <laughs> We've had a bit of a torrid time today, but you know, at least Jamie got a few for shout. Well, let's see, let's see what happens in it, that's all you can do, like I always say. We will try. There's Jay's rod there. Um sorry, Vic and uh, Jamie have just gone. So uh on our own for it. We're probably just going to give it an hour or so and then head off. It's nice and quiet on the beach, I know that tonight. It's really peaceful. But like I was saying earlier, it's very cold. We'll say we're only mad. It's going to be out in this moment. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, fingers crossed, something half decent turns up like it did last week. That's about it. It's just real last rod in. It's a doggy and a whiting. That's it poor in comparison to last week but you know you can't always have two sessions the same it's had a great day as you can see we had cracking weather apart from obviously the general what happens in winter when you get that cold air and stuff still can't complain about it at all really no on them rocks that were glorious it was like spring so we had a really good night day and you know that's fishing We've, uh, we've lost two bullets today, earlier on on the rock ledges. We've had a tope snap, 135 pound mono, uh, wire. Um, Jamie's had a multitude of various species of fish. He's had a mackerel, which is really positive. I'll just spin you around a minute. Seems like on this. Um, yeah, Jamie's had a multitude of fish. He's had loads of pollock. We've got, they're around the, all around the one pound, probably slightly bigger than a pound mark. 
We had a rock clean, three meters rock clean, had ballon rass. James had a scorpion, fishes had ballon rass, had corking rass. Um, James had a mackerel. 21st November, mackerel. What about that? 21st November, a tote run. Just take the positives out of the negatives. Um, I, need, I need to look at some of these rigs, man. Um, I've heard stories about people having the same problems, though, um, getting smashed quite a lot by tope and failing to hook them. I've never lost so many as what I've lost this year. Um, I'm gutted, really, but it is positive. You've got to think, look at the positive side of it. We're heading into winter now, still getting tote run, so uh, we'll stick it from there. Um, other than that, from Patheli Beach, it's uh, time to head back to Doncaster, I'm afraid. It's 11 o'clock at night, I should get back for about half two, so uh, would have been up 23 hours then, so <laughs> that's not bad, is it? <laughs> well, uh, yeah. Um, get, 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 the store, get everything chucked in the car, get the meters on and get back, try not to fall asleep on the way back. Probably have a break at Chester like we always like to do. So, uh, other than that, keep safe, tight lines, and uh, like I say from Philly Beach, have a good one. I'll see, we'll see you soon.